So for this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a high key type of photo look. Hopefully this will be the after image and this is the before. So I'm going to show you how to do something similar to this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bring out all the shadows in this picture. Now what I'm going to do is go to Command J and it's going to duplicate the layer. And then we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows, Highlights. And you can just go with default. I mean, this is the first time I don't really, I won't really touch anything. So just press OK. And I will lower this just a tiny bit because I don't want it to look too much. I think this is pretty good so far. The next thing we're going to do is lighten up the whole picture. And I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Hue Saturation. We're going to go from Master to Yellows. And I'm going to start lowering that saturation tab all the way down. And as you can see, her skin tone, you can tell that it already changed. So we're going to go from yellows to reds. And we're going to do it just a tiny bit. We don't want her looking like the Adams Family. Like, look at this. Looks like she's sick or something. So we're just going to keep it like negative 10 on the reds or negative 11. Now the trick to this is to go from normal to screen. And as you can see, it really did lighten up the entire picture. And we're going to lower this just a tiny bit. Don't worry if it's a little bit too light. We're going to fix this. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Levels. And in the Levels panel, you can play around with this. What I did is I actually brought this back just to get a little bit of those blacks. Bringing back this tab, adding a little bit more contrast back in the photo. And then I brought the slider down for the output level and it brought back a little bit of those details that were lost. So depending on how much detail you want back, I mean if it is a high key photo look, maybe you don't want too much detail in there. I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. Everyone's different. But I think I liked it the way it is now. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then brightness contrast. And... Like everyone on Instagram, I'm going to just up the contrast like no other. There it is. And that's pretty much it for this look. It's pretty simple. One last thing you could do if you really wanted to add a little uh, bit more sharpening to this image, you could go to Command J on the background. So the very original image. Bring that to the very top. And then go to Filter other high pass and I'm using a radius of 5.8 just make sure all those details are showing press ok and go from normal to soft light or you can go to overlay really it's, it's your own preference but it really makes the photo super sharp if you don't want it that sharp lower the opacity you could do whatever you want it's a free country so <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is the look that I got, and let me show you guys the before and after. This is before, and that's after. It's pretty simple. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for some people, and thank you guys so much for watching.